I'm on the uh, Izeki stand with, with Dave Withers, old friend Dave Withers, and uh, great to see you. Thanks. And it's nice to see a show that's so busy. Mm. But uh, how have you found it a uh, day and a half into it now? Has it been good for you guys? Yeah, I think it has. I mean, obviously, last year was a challenge, wasn't it, because of the, uh, the date that we held it being in March. But Al fresco uh, eating and, dine and, and drinking. Know, it was weird, wasn't it? I mean, how it was wrong, wasn't it? Somehow <laughs> to go outside and it was still daylight. But we're back to normal now where it's freezing cold and uh, everything's dark. So, um, no, it's definitely way better attended this year than last year. And I uh, know it's great to see so many old friends and everybody coming to visit us. So, no, it's been nice. And it's what, been, I'm guessing now, is it four years, five years that you've been involved with Aiseki? Well, see, I've been involved with Izeki for a lot more years than that. When I was at Ransoms, obviously, we, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we had Izeki, so I've had a relationship with them since sort of the mid-90s. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we've been independent as Izeki UK since the beginning of 2018. So we've just closed five, five years. years. Now, in that time, what, uh, what's your place in the mark? How's that changed? How pro how's, how's progress been, in other words? Yeah. Because, I mean, five years on, you'll have had a five go, you'll have had a five-year plan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, uh, we, it's been remarkably good, actually. Um, we just under doubled the business in five years. We didn't quite make it, but we almost doubled in five years. And, uh, and that's in a market that's not been growing, if anything's been shrinking. So that's been good, good performance for us. And I think what it is, is we've always had a great range of machinery, really reliable, fantastic uh, productivity, and just a really all round good machinery. But maybe it wasn't pushed and promoted quite as much as it could have been. Uh, when it was part of that bundle of products that Ransoms was dealing with. So for us to just wake up every morning thinking about how do we sell more Izeki, how do we sell more blue product has meant that we've just had that better focus uh, on our customer base. And also we've expanded our customer base somewhat. You know, golf's still really important for us. Councils, contractors are important. But we deal a lot with high net worth individuals, homeowners, hobby farmers, people like that who to be honest, have done pretty well over this last four or five years, uh, and we've benefited from that. Now, you're propping yourself up against a tractor that's a very good uh, golf tractor, I believe, you were telling me earlier. Yes, that's right. This is probably the machine we sell. 80% of our golf sales are of this tractor. It's a, it's a 50 horsepower machine, but with one and a half tons of lift uh, at the back end and an amazing gearbox that works really well with kind of aeration and spraying and stuff like that. So certainly for our golf customers, you know, this is kind of our go-to. Uh, you know, this is our hero tractor in the golf space. Your and entry model for Izeki. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's the almost, I'm not saying it's industry standard, because obviously there's a lot of other tractors around there, but certainly for us, for a normal golf course, that has got all the usual attachments that a golf course would have. This is probably the best tractor there is out there. Mm -hmm. And are you finding that potential customers and customers are more open-minded as to what products they're going to go for these days? Yes, I think that's true. I think people are looking around at where there's good value, uh, where there's good performance, but also where there's availability. I mean, you know, we've, we've lived through this couple of years of, you know, historically, if you, all the factories are running flat out, there's more capacity to build than there is demand. Whereas this last couple of years, there's been more demand than there's been capacity. And, and, and as a consequence of that, People have been looking around where, 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 where you can get something as yeah. well. And we've actually been pretty good on the supply front, um, which definitely has got us in some places that we wouldn't otherwise have got into. Now, you've had five years as Izeki UK. The next five years hopefully won't have as many challenges and obstacles in the way. So where would you hope to be five years in five years' time? Yeah, I mean, I think we can continue to grow at roughly the same speed. I mean, actually, I quite like it when there's disruption. You know, there's always opportunity with disruption. If everything stays exactly the same as steady state, then there's no change. Yeah, status quo. Whereas for us, you know, who are a relatively smaller player in the market, this disruption has helped us. And so, you know, I always think whether it's in, within a company or within a market, you know, disruption's good and bad. It, it throws up opportunities as well as challenges. And certainly for us, it's given us a lot of opportunity. Well, I'm hoping the next, dis the next disruption is not a COVID, but uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> I, I agree, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying COVID is good or anything <laughs> like that, but I think for a business point of view, whatever the market's doing, whatever is happening, you can only control what you can control. But you can manage that bit of it to make sure that you are acting as appropriately as possible for the market conditions that there are. And if you're small and nimble, you can maybe react quicker than some of the big sort of super tankers that are just smoothing along and find it harder to change course.
Well, David, I always enjoy these chats. I always enjoy your thoughts and uh, very thought-provoking. So thank you for that. And we shall see you again in a few months' time, no doubt, if not sooner. Sure. But uh, enjoy the rest of the show and thanks very much for your time. Pleasure. Lovely to talk to you as ever, Scott. Great. Cheers. Thank you.